is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have some more custom wwe figure belts you can make yourself yes i did do this before and i think i showed you guys six or seven championships last time and you guys loved it you guys gave me a lot of great feedback and you actually gave me some suggestions on some other ones that you guys have made in the future i think we may have one or two of those in this video but uh, I, I put some more belts together the other day and i was like holy crap we have enough to make another video out of it so let's go ahead and show you guys these i'm very excited about a particular a uh, few of them here but i guess we can start off with this one in the front and it is the wwe championship from 2013 with the universal championship strap i think i've seen somebody use this before i cannot remember exactly who it was but i think it looks good you know it's the old plate you know it's it's sort of like the 2013 version if we had the universal championship then uh, i think the side plates are pretty much the same uh the the swoosh right here if you want to call it that has a red line so it matches the strap um, the behind it is not red obviously but it is black and it gives it some good contrast this one may be my least favorite from the group i think i think this is my least favorite i can't remember but um we have a set of tag titles on this episode of uh custom figure belts you can make yourself and it is the smackdown live tag team championships but with the penny belt plates on there and it kind of looks odd but it's kind of sick at the same time. I think it looks kind of cool. I don't know. Um, I was just sitting around thinking about, you know, which ones I could use. And I was like, what if we switched it um, with the current day belts, with the older belts? And I think that it looks okay. I mean, I think if you put them on the right guys, I think that would really bring them out. Um, but it's, it's not too bad. You know, it is bronze. It's like an orange and blue look. But I would love to know what you guys think. What do you think about these down in the comment section below in particular? I think, uh, I don't know, I like them. They're not perfect by any means, but I think I like the blue strap better than the black strap. Even though the penny belts are my least favorite belts ever, they're my least favorite championship belt ever from WWE. So those are that. This championship looks absolutely terrific, and I, ca I can't remember who told me to do this, but it's pretty much what the WWE Championship should look like since it's on SmackDown. You see, we switched the uh, SmackDown Live Women's Championship main plate with the WWE Championship main plate, and you can see the result here. The blue behind this looks absolutely fantastic. It really ties in well. I could see Daniel Bryan. I could see AJ Styles. I could see a ton of guys holding this belt. In particular, AJ Styles would look beautiful with this belt, but... It's a fantastic piece. I love the way that this came out. I think that this one is probably one of my favorites, hands down. I think somebody's made a custom of this before, and I think they even uh, switched out the red swoosh for a black swoosh. I can't remember uh, seeing that, but I think I did see that on Instagram or somewhere, but it looks beautiful. Great job um, on this switch. I love this switch to death. Next up, we have another set of tag team belts, and it's the result of this switch. So this is what happens when you switch both of these around. Obviously, the penny tag title plates came off of the black strap so I switched the silver plates onto the black strap and I think that this looks better I think this looks a lot better than the penny the penny plates on the blue strap is the silver plates on the black strap it's kind of really uh, bright coming through there you can kind of see you know it coming through it's like sort of hard to see it's like blinded me to death here but I like the way these came out I think I've seen these used in a pick fed before I can't remember I apologize to whoever has used these in a pick fed before but uh, I think they have used them. I think I've seen this. I, I can't remember again, but I, I think it looks good. I think it's very original. Kind of reminds me of the ECW championship from, you know, when Matt Hardy held it and Jack Swagger and all those guys. I think that's what sort of it reminds me of. But I really like the circle look. The silver on the black is very plain, but it still works. I think if you were to, you know, if you didn't have separate brands, if you didn't have Raw or SmackDown and you just had one show for all of your figures, I think that these would be a good selection for your tag belt. Sort of a neutral colorway and nothing too crazy. So we have those. Another one that we have is something I showed you guys on WWE Action Figure Surgery. And shout out to Wadfix for this idea. I don't know how anybody didn't really think of this, but Wadfix thought of it and he's a genius. Um, he switched the UK Championship belt that came with Tyler Bate. He switched that onto the Universal Championship strap. And my God, how beautiful is this? I mean, you guys can just look at it. The red in the center behind the WWE plate, all that detail in the center plate really looks good. I should have switched the side plates on there. Still haven't done that. Um, it has a few more red details that tie into the strap and the logo better, but I haven't done that yet. So uh, this is what it still looks like. It's still a beautiful looking championship regardless. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And uh, Wattfix is a great dude. You should go subscribe to his channel and follow him on Instagram. So we have all of these belts. The next two championships, this one I don't think I've ever seen anybody do before. If you've done it before, then shout out to you. But um, this is a really sweet one. I took the WWE Championship or Undisputed Championship from the early 2000s and switched the main plate of that onto the white current day Intercontinental Championship strap. 
and look how freaking fresh nasty farticles is that i love the way this came out i mean i could have probably switched the side plates out but i still think it works even though i don't have those side plates on there i still think that you could put this on somebody i mean just look at how clean that is absolutely fantastic i think this is probably my favorite championship on the video this and then that i see remember when we last time we did this we switched the oval intercontinental championship main plate onto this strap that and this is probably my favorite belts we've done. I, I think that this is just so beautiful. I can just totally see this being a main title on somebody's show, somebody's fed, and uh, I think it looks great. So if uh, WWE ever decides to bring this title back, bring it back on the white strap. I think it would work out well. So we have that title, and then the final championship is just the result of the uh, SmackDown Live Women's Championship switch and the WWE Championship switch. I figured why not just throw the black... Uh, behind there onto the uh, SmackDown Live women's strap. I think it looks good. Um, again, just like this, it's kind of like a modern day version. You know, if you uh, if this was back in the day, this is what this would look like. And then if you brought it to 2018 or 19 now, um, this is what it would look like. So I think it looks good. You know, again, if you only have one show, if you don't have, you know, a SmackDown and a lot uh, SmackDown and a live. If you don't have a SmackDown live and then a Raw or two shows, if you just have one show, maybe this would work better since it's neutral. You know, it's just. Uh, Sort of dual colored there. It's not too crazy with the blue and everything mixed in. Of course, you got a little smudge of red, but it's not too much. But I think that this is a fantastic switch. Before we uh, go, I want to run through all the title belts you'll need. If you wanted to do any of these switches, I know that we ran through it a little bit, but we might as well knock it out. We have the, uh, the, the main strap of this is the SmackDown Live Women's Championship that came with Becky Lynch. You could do it with the Raw as well. If you have the Raw version that came with Alexa Bliss or Sasha Banks or any of those people, you could use that. And then, of course, you need the WWE Championship. That's the two you will need for these. Um, for this one, you will need a Universal Championship and the UK Championship that came with Tyler Bate. Um, I think that's all it came with. It may have came with somebody else. can't remember. Um, next up, you will need the WWE Championship that came with the Elite 55 Undertaker and then the 2015 or t uh, to today Intercontinental Championship with the white strap. It's come with the top talent, Seth Rollins. It's come with uh, Dean Ambrose. It's come with a battle pack between Dean Ambrose and The Miz. And uh, that's what you'll need for this one. As far as these tag titles go, you will need some throwback figures. I can't even remember what the penny belts came with. Maybe an elite Seth Rollins. Uh, I, I can't even remember who all it came with. But the SmackDown Live tag titles came with uh, Heat Slater and Rhino, I do believe. And maybe, I know we've gotten them a million times. I just can't think of who I got them from. But you can find them pretty easily as well. And then the last one is the WWE Championship from 2013. I think it came with, who did it come with? Guys, help me out. I think it came with The Rock. It came with a few other people. Just look on eBay for it. And then, of course, the Universal Championship. So that is pretty much all of the belts I have for you guys today. Um, you guys, again, like this, what we did with this last time. And I think you guys will get a kick out of it again. And uh, hopefully you guys can make these championships. If you do, you send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see it. If you guys make these switches, um, being inspired by this video, I would love to see that. But tomorrow, I think, I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be the unveiling of the MDT Royal Rumble official stage. I think I am fi I finally am going to receive it tomorrow. So guys, be uh, prepared for that to be uploaded tomorrow. The MDT official Royal Rumble stage will be ready. We'll do a full review of it, and I'll, I'll go over all the details of the stage and what you guys can look forward to going into the MDT Royal Rumble. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.